Hello guys, welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'll actually be showing you guys how to make cartoon lighting inside Roblox Studio. Also, I'm very sorry for not uploading in a while. Um, I kind of got busy and also busy. <laughs> I just kind of been lazy, you know. I also have some things I like to announce. The first thing I like to announce is my Discord server. My Discord server will be inside the description so you guys can check that out. I would really appreciate it if you guys join it. I'll also like to announce my Twitter. All that will be in the description. Also make sure to like and subscribe, that just motivates me to keep uploading videos. And yeah, let's get right into the video. So usually whenever I'm making my lighting, I like to start off with a classic base plate because it just, it looks better. So what you're gonna do is just click on classic base plate. So after that is finished loading in, what you're gonna do is go to lighting. And I would like to explain a few things inside the lighting menu. So what you're gonna do is actually click on ambient. And usually for ambient, I like to go with a pink color or maybe a bluish color. So I'll just go right here, I'll maybe do this. And I'll just make sure to bring up the color just like that. So the next thing is actually brightness. This one, I really don't mess around with it because I like the, the normal brightness uh, level. But if you like and you want to change your brightness because maybe your map is a bit too dark, I'd rather go for like 2.5 or around 3. So for this one, I'm just going to do 2.59 because I think it just looks good. I really don't know what color shift bottom does, but usually I just make it like a bluish color or maybe purple. But for now, I'm just going to make it like a tannish color, just like this. And for color shift top, what you're actually going to do is just make this one a tannish color too, just like this. Something like, just bring it like that. And just bring it down. Just bring it down a bit. So you should have something like this. So the next thing is actually environmental diffuse. So this one, I just make it like 0.5. I don't bring it all the way up because if you do, it just looks really futuristic, but I just prefer like having it around like 0.5 or 0. And usually for environment specular, I just make it 0.9 or 0.1. Next thing is the outdoor ambient. What I actually recommend for this one is either making it a tannish color or the same thing that I was been saying. Uh, a purple color or a pink color so this one i'm just gonna go with more of a purplish color and just bring this up good. and now for shadow softness usually i just leave it at 0.2 but for me i prefer to just bring it all the way down or if you like just bring it all the way up so typically for cloud time i'll make it 13.4 and geographic latitude i'll just make it uh 45 or 43 also for fog, typically I'll make it a purplish or pink color. Usually I just do a, a lighter shade of blue too. And usually for the fog end, what I'll actually do is make it 2,500. So you should see a bit of fog, but usually I don't really like adding fog. It, it, it doesn't really fit my style, so yeah. So after all of that, what you're gonna do is actually add a color correction. And you're not gonna mess around with the brightness. What you're actually gonna do is make the contrast 0.15 or just actually bring it a bit more higher just like that 0.3 and the saturation just make it like 0.15 so right now this is what your lighting should look like and yeah let's keep going also do not mess around with tint color i added in some assets to show you guys what it actually look like inside a studio so these are my settings for depth of field uh you guys can copy this and yeah let's get into the next part I also want to say bring the saturation inside color correction to 0.6 because it looks way better, trust me. So what you're going to do is actually add in the sun rays, just copy the uh, settings I gave. So now what you're going to do is actually put it in a skybox. I'll put a skybox inside the description so you guys could uh, get it for yourselves and yeah. Boom. Uh, this is what it looks like after I put in the skybox. Actually lucky the skybox is actually carry. Um, I'll show you guys a few other skyboxes uh, in the game or in the map so you guys can see for yourselves this and this this one i actually really like and i use it for most of my maps and yeah that's the end of this video let me know your thoughts inside the comments and yeah make sure to like and subscribe like always and also check out my discord series thank you for watching and bye